Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. to the Covenant Lights, our daily online devotion to God and His Word. Wherever you are, hallelujah, is another opportunity we have today to celebrate the goodness of God for the week. For this beautiful week, is the head and one grateful to God for the week. Hallelujah. Go ahead and celebrate Him right now. Give Him praise. His goodness, hallelujah, has been Yes, hallelujah, glory, come and rejoice, dance, praise Him, hallelujah. It's Friday, we celebrate Him for all He has done, for the victories of the week, for the deliverance of the week, for the blessings and provision of the week. Come and rejoice and give Him praise this morning, celebrate His goodness. Hey, Malagosha, take a hill, a borromante, ille barra balala baye. Mana na no zande de libro go dubele libra in a valla catala balala man de brogo do santa la badia. Eh, le catosana mala balala balala bande barra balala bashana rabaya. Yes, he's been so good all my life. Praise Jesus. Come on, somebody rejoice. Give him praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Mali bo shata kalabara mande borogo tole brabala la mande. Lega duba le mande gagatose hele broko talabaya. Hey, glory to God. I'm excited. Glory to Jesus. I'm excited. All my life has been faithful. If somebody sings this song with me. 
Leko shata balala nala bakanta ye. Hero zane mande hele balala bande gade boro bande hela gashadra. Nesu zane mele bakoze kataka la mandre ya desha. Of the goodness of God. Hey, malabashon takala bate keli basharaba. Go ahead and bring the spirit. Lado zokolo bara bale mande broko tuva le mande. Zonta gagali broba tatala kafoza la baye. Le kanoma taji le bala koza brianea. Oh, glory to God. I will rejoice. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. He's faithful. He's faithful. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate him this morning. Nilo gozi elibat anda goza rabaye. Me katala bala la manda brukoto sarabaye. Gozan ivala kaneka dika duzune melele buruklo nanana ji. Vunda kuza blei. Hekuda bala manda brukoto kataje. Le katune melele duze krobane vinos korada shalabaya. Kalaba shalabaye. Ayako santa kalaba hakatoja. Thank him, hallelujah. Celebrate him. Give him praise, Father, I thank you. Father, I honor you. I reverence you. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness, for your grace. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Glory to God. Thank you for healings. Thank you for breakthroughs, for blessings. Thank you for life. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, malabata legedosa barahan legegosa la badrianaza. Ivianana sunga libra tashkalaba. For your mercy, thank you. For your grace, thank you. Oh, I come boldly today before the throne of grace. I obtain mercy. I find grace to help. Hallelujah. In time of need, thank you for mercy. Thank you for forgiveness of sins. Thank you, Father, for provision. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. No one else can do this that you've done. Aya kule bade andre hede de bandro dosa le kusune mele brakati ele band guru do sala baye. Can you praise the Lord? Can you bless His name? Can you give Him praise? Can you exalt His name? He leads us in the band of God's salabaniya. Le kusubre hande he vakati ele mande bar God's salabaniya. Hallelujah! What has He done for you specifically? Glory to God! Hallelujah! Can you look back into into into, into Monday through today? Hallelujah! Is there anything you are grateful to God for? Hallelujah! Go ahead and give Him praise for it. Go ahead and celebrate Him. Le kusala bande gadi koro balala mandre. Le kusun. Ne mali le bam de buru kutuva la ne zunga di bro bata kame kule lingrani uzale bata eleko zene mete ili bunde vye do sakatara ba ye you know on Fridays like this we spend quality time just blessing and praising him for the week for the blessings of the week hallelujah oh glory to God I'm excited my heart and dagna the good matter my tongue is like the pen of a ready writer eleko sali bra Mande get gule badu jarabaria ili fina nasu galaba glakuze prokonove le bataka lingoduze le krode ble ena prokose zihima ne guzone men rodubla tia ne guzone mala le kuzi libra katale bana nove libra hante groza metoza ke ele bandre hira koto zone mandre hira oza te hele kati zihile branaza give him praise the Bible says he that Pray in an unknown tongue. Give God praise well. He that prayed in an unknown tongue, give God praise well. Can we praise God well this morning? <laughs> Glory, God. Oh, I love His goodness. I love Jesus. Le posata kalabaria, le kuzubre enevele habana nuzegradia, e gozuli brane, e 
Zuna Megi Hila Koso Zeki Alabanda Gadura de Habuna and Asia, Lefro Gado Sangalabandri, Leko Dujene Breire Kelemongro do Zubala Badiane, Elego Numan de Gredo Shabalabandri Hede, E Lele Leva Hedro Clean and Ezula Bandi, Zucati Halamande, Loba Babaganeka di Gazunda Duba Lebano Kose Libriade, Leko Zebri Hand of Lehetri Adi Alamande, E Zuka Liona. Ego Lumande, Berro Tose, Ebronovan de Hela Cosa, Elega Gadubro Balalamande, Brogo Dubela Le Mandre, Le Cosia Nefante Hela Gobar Hande, Zonte Bele Hele Brogo Dosa Le Mandre, Le Catia Le Mande Brodo Zone Melebadea, Melu de Jicali, Main de Guneva Cuba de Hacule Mande, Londra Catia La Bala Mangro Dosi Hela Bade, E Zonte Brogo Dubele Banda Gagado Salabadea, O Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for your mercy. Halibom de Brihere Soda for every victory you've given to me. Hallelujah. For the blood that was shed for me. Hayagula baye. E sande garabane kosa takala. Gadubro baliman de Brihere Squali mandre. Le kosu se ili mande ba. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Ilekuli mande gehele bosa galamandre, gosole mande greroja labaya. Even if the fig tree refuse to blossom, I will praise. Yet I will praise the Lord. Yet I will bless the Lord. Ilekunde mane me de hekuda balabande, ronde vrakatele badoska, egona shile ibato tuze ke eli. Mande leka katiel and grodoza for hila mandre. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Jesus, for your works. Oh, thank you, Lord. My heart is full of appreciation and gratitude. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you understand grace, you will live a life of praise and thanksgiving, a life of appreciation and gratitude. Hallelujah. For he has blessed us with all things that pertain to life and godliness. That's why we praise him. He has made us to be as he is. That's why we praise him. Hallelujah. He has both our Likuna Messiah greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That's why we praise him. Glory to Jesus. We praise him for the reality of his word in our lives. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we honor you. We bless your name. We magnify you. I thank you, Jesus. I stand, oh God. Hallelujah. Holy on the premise of the gift of righteousness. That's your love. I praise you for that. I stand. I minister. I serve only on the premise of the gift of righteousness. For in myself, I'm not qualified. But in you, glory to Jesus, you have qualified me. Thank you, Lord, for you are my sanctification. You are my holiness. You are my peace. You are my salvation. You are my life. In you I live. In you I move. In you I have my being. Glory to God. Make sure you are praising him. Make sure you are thanking him. It's a day of appreciation. It's a day of gratitude. It's a day that we dedicate to celebrate. To celebrate, to rejoice and bless our Father. Oh, glory to God. Blessed be unto your name, Jesus. Oh, Baraku Zeki Eliman de Broga Duvrahande, Mekua Brohina Gehila Koza, Mepura Mande, Ekala Bara Monde, Leka Dibro Enomontugo Zupra Eda Kalamandri, Melunda Grahida Galabandur Husa Kalabadi, Medu Zambradi, Eleka Tana Galif Robala Kanano Zungla Hatu Jarabaya. Hallelujah to your name. You see, you can never overpraise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, when you understand what he has done, you will spend more time praising than asking. Glory to God. What do you want to ask him? 
What do you want to ask him that he does not know about? Hallelujah. What do you want to ask him who has given you everything? The Bible says all things are yours. Praise Jesus. All things are yours. Glory to God. So what do you want to ask the one who has built everything to you? Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are Abraham's seed. And heirs according to the promise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we understand and we believe this, we will praise him more. We will rejoice more. We will thank him more. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, I bless your name. I give you praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praised. Amen and amen. I encourage you throughout today, just spend time to praise God. Hallelujah. Whether or not you feel like it makes no difference. Praise God. It didn't say praise me when you feel like. It didn't say praise me when you have your testimony. It said praise me for who I am. Praise God. You might not feel like. Glory to Jesus. We are not children of feelings or senses. We are children of faith. Glory to God. We do the word. Hallelujah. Bible says this is the will of God concerning us in Christ. Hallelujah. That we praise him. That we lift our hands. Let's make and everywhere lift their hands towards heaven. Hallelujah and give him praise. Hallelujah. Spend time to praise him today. I feel hallelujah. Sense in my spirit that it's going to be a legal night deliveries of goodies as you praise God. Hallelujah. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So quickly right now, let's pray and intercede for the lost. Let's pray for the lost around us. It's our responsibility to pray for the lost. Hallelujah. Bible says God is in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting men's sins against them. No wonder he says, first of all, prayer should be made for all men and for all those who are in authority that they may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Come and lift your right hand and say this with me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the leaders, for those in authority, and everyone in my nation. Mention your nation, Nigeria, Kenya, wherever you are. Hallelujah. I pray that they all come to salvation and come to the knowledge of the truth. I pray for those on my salvation list. Begin to mention the people you are praying for, for their salvation. Hallelujah. Your family members, your, your colleagues at work, your, 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 your friends. Hallelujah. Begin to mention their names and now let's begin to pray. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to pray this prayer as I heart, as I pray in the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Let's pray the Holy Ghost for the lost. Let's help them. Let's intercede. Hallelujah. Let's groan and pray in the Spirit that as we do this, they are connected to the people that will listen to them, the people they will listen to and be saved. We might not be able to speak to everyone in the place of prayer, in the place of groaning, in the place of intercession. Someone somewhere will meet them. Hallelujah. And they will listen and be saved. That's when we pray. That's why we pray. Pray. That your uncle, that your aunt, that your neighbor, that your sibling. We can pray them into salvation. Someone, somewhere will let We meet them, speak the gospel to them and they will be saved. Pray in the spirit for them. Mention their names if you know their names. Hale koza pra ina vakute zula mandre metota kajina na leko bali broko duba le mandre hire kus kanga do zule mele li badi kata kuzubria na leko tuzepria di lega galimando bali kana mango duza lega gaduje mintone bali broko lu barabala la mandre ya de azonga li broko di bali hene glaluje brahande leko tuzepria di vetakle na neju ina nuzo 
Ibrando Brokuto Baliba Nakagali Grusa Monto Tosa E Bataki Ili Broko Jubeleka Nima Galibro no Kola Lebandri Lendri Hida Bele Hila Lalu Jandro Ele no Nose Nema Gone Gadika Tuga Nema Gadu Metoto Sundra Eleva Gati Ele Bangruse Balala Mandria Melodo Jangradi Elega Gano Sombe Broko Jubeli Bananana Zeki Hela Goza Ele Du Jandra Ele Falimandra Puli Hangra Dije E Kune Melibro Kotosa Manga de Galabana Malabo Soroya I pray for everyone in my world Le Kusalaban the Kid the Kusa that they will come to the knowledge of the truth they will come to salvation I decree Ele Kalaman the Ke Alaban the Brodoza Kalaban Riedija the Banda Guru Bataja command the devil to take off the hands of this world in the name of Jesus Christ we win them for the gospel we win them maliko de banana na zumbi met ho de kalabandri leko de vilimando kubali hagadusa lingro do zile prakadivale mandro leto do zandra hida i vakuli mande biri anna nozum gladu de jena balakusa minta gozi hili batarabaya thank you father in the name of our lord jesus christ hallelujah right now we're going to be praying hallelujah concerning this year hallelujah there's a word a show word of prophecy in our lives hallelujah for 2022 it's our year of supernatural placements is our year of supernatural enlargement and promotion glory to jesus christ we are going to be praying concerning this theme every day we do this hallelujah oh this is how to mount pressure on the matter hallelujah you mount you don't allow the matter to mount pressure on you you put pressure on the matter by the word you keep saying it every day you put pressure the more you say the more you are pressurizing the matter until it gives way glory to god we don't give up we don't give in hallelujah we are going to be praying right now for the for, for the theme of the year hallelujah it's a year of placement it's a year of enlargement it's a year of promotion glory to jesus say this with me say father in the name of jesus i believe you and i am established i believe your prophets and i prosper this year has been declared my year of placements, enlargements, and promotion. I confess it and I receive it as my inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, precious Holy Spirit, help me to pray this prayer as I hope, as I pray in the Spirit. Your word says you have given your angels hallelujah instruction to go before me therefore i decree that angels go before me into 2022 every month of this year and bring me to my wealthy place bring me to my place of abundance in the name of jesus make crooked paths straight for me in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray in the spirit now. Bring into you to your place of wealth, your place of dominion, your place of relevance, your place of influence, your place of wealth. Toko Zula Bandra, Melele Gadiga Diga Zungalaba, Lato de Gina, Egune Bala Bala La Baku ne Broko Dubeli Mangre Hid Clodo, Elengro Zehila Brodo Salabarana, E Zuna Broko Duza Balaherade, Melogo Duza Prahende, Leka Divra Hibra no Mangala La Badu Rodusa, Inele Guza Zevrihangla, E Gaduze Bari and Nele Vrocotuze Librande, Lekuz Nimele Greide Velimandro, Ele. 
ega dije ne melele tu je gronomande e bando toza ega diva la panana koli bandre gle kuzo zotre eneveli batangro huzeli bangro ide godo metuli brahande i vakati e le konomi le bando toz krahile galabaya declare that it's your year of enlargement hallelujah say as the lord heard an akin to the voice of jabez when he called on him to enlarge his coast declare that the lord is enlarging your coast declare that you are enlarged to the right and to the left declare hallelujah oh my bandaribaya that you are a thousand times more a thousand times more spiritually a thousand times more financially a thousand times more he le call him man this year 2022 in the name of jesus christ me look at the ele man re do sa galabadia rakli imam de bradoska make sure you are praying and declaring ale kolibra in the mind of re hadoza a gozi ebre e diele man to to gozi radi ele kronev libra nan songala ele ke de doza monta te hilibra balika te kali mam de brog du libra ne zumla hat of leader e gone men du libra te ange du zebra kali manta katoza la bandre e dos kalabaya declare right now that it's your year of promotion you experience promotion babu says promotion comes not from the west from the east from the south but from the lord hallelujah he said is the one that lifts one up and brings one down but for you he said is your year of promotion come on declare that you are promoted this year hallelujah at work in business in ministry in career it's your year of promotion declare that you experience promotion with increase promotion with increase with enlargement maliko le bam de brogdoza la badri eleke gali mam de brogdos kalabadi zunga divra gali mondo zebra hakuta helala lega gali mam de brogduva le mangre he deza o gozuzu libra handi le croduba le mam de brogdonga li bataka gadoza ili do brogum de mangre dia elega gadoza ne profale eido klu mam de bruide vela mande azonga di heli brokoze minte heli balala kune ili kude barandi velo lu jungro duro klu brahande le de dijana avako de zili bande brogdoze ke imandri ili kakali budrune vali bande o zakaida ili kuna sala badriana in the name of jesus christ glory to god hallelujah it's time now to begin to pray for yourself praise god begin to pray for yourself right now elelele bom de brihina koroze ke elamandre malala gadibri and every kona mataka tie jelabandro mento helebri and the galibri and nama koso bayane ele baro momde lono doze kabana na neva koze ke helebro meluna na jukra bala mandre ba begin to pray for yourself bless yourself right now declare it's a great day declare it's a good weekend this is the weekend hallelujah of this week begin to speak god's word about your week. Weekend. Hallelujah! Receive from the Lord. Leka tu elimanda e tu kane mandri he de koza la bandri he di i vaki elimande mit hole bandri he dos kala bandri he dia. Do you have vale kana mala ba yendro yeda? What has God shown you? What is God telling you right now? Begin to pray about to God your personal rema. Hallelujah! Haya kune mande ki hero doza. Frame your weekend. It will be a weekend of 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 blessings. This will be a weekend of abundance, a weekend of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, me tole brakati elimandre loto zone me anegagato galiva ya male kroduzone me toto sunga libra dia kala monde me dozo krone me hele gano e jum de barakati ele vrakadunga ne hele bando jakata e vale kune me likra kle engro duze ba me tobe le bande de katuzi hele gro. Le bali mam de brog do seli mandri hadiva ana gozi hele bana gatak le brono no so golo bandri doza le kotu zili mam der hidis kana gadoza meet holy baka iligani brokone mala bango doza ki hala gadoza rabaya thank you precious jesus give him praise now give him thanks now oh glory to your name forever hallelujah thank you precious jesus Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed how many people said amen and amen hallelujah right now we are going to be taking our confession on the blessing oh glory to God I love the blessing <laughs> is there anyone that love the blessing I love the blessing Bible says hallelujah Isaac hallelujah blessed his sons Jacob hallelujah by the blessing a blessing by the word by the word by the way spoke and blessed him glory to God you are blessed by the spoken word praise Jesus now you're going to speak the word of God as we have in Deuteronomy chapter 28 we are going to be declaring the blessing right now and I want you to mean it with the oath of your heart praise Jesus Christ hallelujah say this with me because Jesus has diligently obeyed the Lord God being careful to do all his commandments which commanded I acknowledge that the Lord God has therefore set everyone in Christ Jesus I above all other people groups of the earth and therefore I declare that all these blessings are upon me and have overtaken me because my Savior and representative has obeyed God perfectly and I have his righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say, bless I am in the city and bless I am in the country. Hallelujah. I am empowered by the blessing. And so I am producing my divinely attendant fruits, achieving my divinely destined results. I am constantly increasing in these results by multiplication and filling the earth with it. I am always victorious and rule, taking the lead in every location, environment or situation I am in. Glory to God. Say, my children, my businesses and their proceeds, my investments and their proceeds are also empowered by the blessing and are therefore achieving their intended goal, constantly increasing by multiplication, filling the whole earth with their results. They are always winning and leading in every field they are involved in. Hallelujah. Say, blessed is my basket and my kneading bowl. As a family, our food is empowered by the blessing on me from its storage all through its processing. And it therefore achieves its intended goal of nourishment. It is always increasing by multiplication, filling the earth with nourishment by feeding multiplied millions of people it is victorious over and dominates every famine or contrary economic climates hallelujah blessed i am when i come in and blessed am i when i go out whether i am in resting or out on a mission i am with the blessing in my rest and in my pursuits I am always achieving the intended goal, always increasing by multiplication, such that the whole earth is full of my fruits and achievements. I am always victorious, and I lead whether I am resting or on a mission. Glory. Hallelujah. Everyone or everything that is against me or my family is defeated before me. And as scattered by the hand of God, my Yahweh Sabaoth, the man of war. Hallelujah. The Lord has commanded his blessing upon my bands and upon all that I lay my hands to do. Hallelujah. Bless me in the land that God has given to me. The blessing on my life is by divine order and command upon my storage places. Therefore, my bank accounts are achieving the intended goal of being with a lot of money. Say that again. My bank accounts are achieving the intended goal of being with a lot of money. 
they are always increasing by multiplication and filling the earth with it. By the blessing, they are victorious and rule over every economic climate of every country where they are located. Everything I do has the blessing on it. My marriage, my ministry, and everything else I am involved in is by the blessing. Already achieving its intended goal, multiplying, filling the earth with its fruits, winning and dominating every opposition. I am blessed in the land assigned to me by the Lord. Therefore, by the blessing, I am brought into my assigned field of endeavor, my career and calling. I am bringing forth my divinely destined results, increasing in them by multiplication, filling the earth with my results and achievements, winning and leading in my assignments. Because of the obedience of the one man, my lovely Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord has by divine oath caused me and my family to be set apart and distinguished from the earth and to live and walk in holiness. We are different, separated and untouched by the corruption, sickness, sin or poverty that is in the world. The blessing is seen on me and on my family to such a degree that the whole world will know that we are connected and one with Yahweh and they will revere us and respect us. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we have as much as we desire in natural and spiritual children in the proceeds from our investments, in the proceeds from our businesses and in the career. Calling the field of endeavor which God by oath has assigned us. So the Lord opened for me his good storehouse, the heavens, to give rain to my land in its season, and it bless all the works of my hands. The heavens are open upon my land, my field of endeavor, my calling, career, and business as it should, such that I am bringing forth my fruits, increasing in them by multiplication, filling the earth with them winning and leading in my career and business. I learn to nations and I never have need to borrow. Glory to Jesus. Now say this with me. The Lord has made me the head and not the tail and I am above only and I will never be beneath. Because of Jesus who observed and did all the commandments of God without turning aside from any of them and who never bow to Satan when tempted to serve him. Because I have received his righteousness, and based on this unmerited favor alone, I have been made the head and not the tail, and I will never be underneath. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen and amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a word. What a word. Father, we receive this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. We are going to quickly go into a time of the word. Hallelujah. God said something very, very strongly in my heart today um, that I believe will be a blessing to us. Praise Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and praise for yet another opportunity we have to look into your word, to be inspired, to be stirred, to be instructed in righteousness. We receive this engrafted word and we receive understanding of this word in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray today that you will speak through my vocal cords. Let your word come with authority, with power, and let it be a blessing to us, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, we all know mm, that man is a spirit who 
as a soul and who lives in the body. In the book of Genesis, Bible records how God made man. But before he made man, he made everything that man would ever need. God prepared for man. God never planned for man to come find his way in the world. No, God already found a way for man. Praise Jesus. He made everything. In the, he made the light, he made the waters. Everything man will ever need was made, was prepared. And then on the sixth day, the Bible says, having made all and everything that man would ever need, he made man on the sixth day to be like him. Father Kalebata, he made man and positioned man in the garden. Bible talks about how he positioned man in the garden of Eden. And in the same garden, everything man will ever need was in the garden. Hallelujah. Man was just supposed to tend the garden. Hallelujah. Man was supposed to just have fun, enjoy himself in the garden. And you know, just follow this. Glory to Jesus Christ. And then the Bible says, God made man. And then afterwards, he discovered that it's not good for man to be alone. And then God made a woman from the rib of man. And he breathed on man the bread of life. So man was like God. Hallelujah. Who is God? Bible says God is a spirit. So God made man, the first man to be a spirit. Because he made man in his image and after his likeness. He made man like him. That's why after he has formed or created man from the dust, the Bible says he breathed upon man the breath of life. So that man could be as God. Man is a spirit. And the Bible says from time to time, the voice of God, Genesis chapter 3, the voice of God will come into the garden. Hallelujah. Having conversation with man. You see, the voice of God, the Bible did not say God will come physically. Hallelujah. Some of us think it just it will just come man to man. God and Adam, they see themselves. No. God is a spirit and he also made man to be a spirit so the bible says the voice of god walking in the garden oh boy i like that the voice of god the voice of god walking in the garden communicating with man and remember because man too was a spirit before man fell hallelujah so Adam could also relate with the voice of God, spirit to spirit, not flesh to flesh. Remember, the Bible says they were naked and they did not know it. Wow. How can you be naked and you are not aware? They were physically naked, not just spiritually naked. They were, they were, not, they were, they were physically naked, but they did not know it. They were not conscious. Why? They were spirit. Man was a spirit. Hallelujah. He lived by the spirit. He lived in the spirit. So he was able to relate with the voice of God from his spirit. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when we say, God said this to me, God just spoke to me. Unbelievers can understand. How can you say God? God Almighty is speaking to you. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says the natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, they cannot. They can't understand that man is a spirit. So God was relating with Adam by the Spirit and Adam was relating with him. Hallelujah. They were naked and they did not know they were naked because they were spirit conscious, not sensual, not physical. Hallelujah. Until man fell. Until man did. Hallelujah. What God said they shouldn't do. Until man hates what God said they shouldn't eat. And then this time the Bible says in Genesis 3 from verse 8, the voice of God, hallelujah, as usual, came again. And this time around, oh, 
man couldn't relate with God. This time around, for the first time, Adam said, I heard your voice. God walked, hallelujah, this voice of God walked in again. And he said, Adam, where are you? This time, Adam couldn't, couldn't relate with God. Hallelujah. Adam said, I heard your voice in the garden. To let you know that it's the voice of God, not physical. I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid. Ooh, where did you see fear from? Mm, I was afraid and I hid because I was naked. Ah, I was naked for the first time. He knew he was naked. He didn't know he was before. And God said, Hiya, yeah, yeah. Who told you, Adam? Who told you you were naked? Where did you get that information from? Who told you? You know what happened? Man had died. God had told him the day you shall eat this, you will die. But he did not die physically, he died in the spirit. Because man is a spirit. Man stopped being spirit led. Man became sensual because of sin. Man became conscious. Adam became conscious. Hallelujah. He became flesh ruled. He became mentally ruled. He had lost the spirit. He had died. Oh, man became sensual. So God told him, who told you you are naked? Oh, man lost it, but blessed be God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. He already made the plan even before he fell. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says the second Adam, fast forward, the second Adam showed up. Hallelujah. Oh, man, God wanted to restore. Restore man as a spirit being. God wanted to restore man. Hallelujah. Even more than what man was. So Jesus came. He became the second Adam. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this. He became the second Adam. Man went through a lot. Man had become natural. Hallelujah. Man had become ordinary. Man had become on that come under the domain of Satan, under the authority of Satan, because he yielded to Satan. Hallelujah. But God, that was not the plan of God for man. God wanted man to remain superhuman. God wanted man to be in his class. Hallelujah. And then the second Adam showed up. Praise Jesus Christ. The second Adam showed up. And then the journey for restoration began again in the garden when it was time for Jesus to die. The Bible says Jesus speak to his three closest disciples, Peter, James, and John. And he said, follow me. Hallelujah. The time had come. How you are cool about I feel an anointing of the spirit. The time had come now. He had said, hallelujah. It is written of me in the volume of the book. And here I am, oh God, who fulfill your your will. It was time for man to be restored to the garden. Glory to God. It was time for man, man, to be placed in that place of God again. It was time for man to become God again. But remember, Adam fell. The first Adam fell. Another Adam had to show up. And where did Adam fall? Adam fell in the garden. And for man to be redeemed, for man to be restored, Told, glory to God. Adam had to, had to die. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then the second Adam showed up and then he picked his disciples and he said, let's go. And then straight he went into the garden. Remember, Adam, the first Adam fell in the garden. The second Adam had to get this restoration back in the garden. So he looked, hallelujah. He could have gone somewhere else. No, hallelujah. It has to be in the garden. Praise Jesus Christ. He took them and he went to the garden of Gethsemane. And the Bible says Jesus prayed and he sweated blood. Hi, hi, hi. 
Shakalabaya. He prayed and blood was gushing out. Hallelujah. Instead of sweat, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because man had to be brought back into that place of garden. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then while he was there, hallelujah, the betrayer showed up and came. He was arrested. Hallelujah. He was betrayed and arrested in the garden. Glory to Jesus Christ. And then, hallelujah, you know the story. He was taken. Hallelujah. And then he hung on that tree. The second Adam. The second Adam. Oh, Malabash under a Balabaya. He died, you know, this week. Hallelujah. We are heading to next week. The week of Easter. Praise Jesus Christ. The second Adam on that cross died. Glory to God. He gave up himself. Blood gushed out. Hallelujah. Oh, the second Adam had to restore what God originally made. Praise God. And then the Bible says, Hallelujah, that when he died, one of his secret disciples came and named Joseph Aramathia. Hallelujah. John chapter 19. The Bible says, glory to God. John, uh, Joseph went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then it was granted him. Then he took the body. The Bible says, hallelujah. Nicodemus also followed, glory to God, Joseph. And they took the body of Jesus. The Bible says he took that body into the garden again. How you kind of game of gardens. Hallelujah. Oh, they took him to the garden. Hallelujah. I read your Bible in Genesis in John chapter 19. They took him to a garden, and in that garden was a beautiful tomb that nobody has ever used. And they buried Jesus in the garden. Remember the first Adam sinned in the garden and died spiritually. Hallelujah. The second Adam had to get this done in the garden. Hallelujah. He was buried in the garden in a tomb. Glory to God. And on the third day, you know the story. The Bible says he came back alive. Glory to God. In the garden. And when he came back, hallelujah, he said, all hail, all hail, glory to Jesus, the second Adam is back, the second Adam has paid for the sin of the first Adam, and right now the second Adam has brought man back, hallelujah, into the garden of beauty, into the garden of prosperity, into the garden of the spirit, hallelujah, right now, don't say you are naked, hallelujah, that voice that asked, that asked, hallelujah, the first Adam, who told you you are naked, who told you you are sick? Who told you you are barren? Who told you you have two more? Who told you you will die young? Who told you? Hallelujah. He's saying to you right now. Hallelujah. The reason for the fall of the first Adam has been paid for by the second Adam. Right now, no more reason to be naked. Right now, Hayakula, but the prize has been paid by the second Adam. So today, right now, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus as a new creation, do not take that life from the devil that you are naked. Do not take that life from the devil. Begin to relate with God in your spirit, not in the physical realm, not in the sense realm. Hallelujah. Man became sense ruled because of sin. Now the sin has been paid for. Hallelujah. So that man can remain permanently in the place of the spirit and live from the spirit. So who told you you are broke? Who told you you are sick? Hallelujah. Is it the doctor that's a lie from the pit of hell? Who told you you are a failure? No, sir. No, ma. You are not a failure. Glory to God. The prize has been paid by the second Adam. Right now. Hallelujah. Not only are you restored to the place. Hallelujah. That where God made Adam. Now you have something higher right now you are exactly as God is right now you are exactly like God as he is so as you right now so child of God do not take that nonsense from the devil
favor. Do not permit that sickness in your body. Do not let the devil take away what belongs to you. I said God has been laying in my heart for the past few days and for the past few weeks that this is a season, hallelujah, of manifestation, of manifestation. This is a season. There's a time, Leko, to take back everything that belongs to you. Ayakuli mandri hatha kalaba. This is a season. We live, hallelujah, in an amazing time, praise God. The second Hedam has paid the price, so you are no longer naked. Glory, who told you a sinner? No, sir, you are not a sinner. You have been washed by the blood, cleansed by the blood, washed pure and clean. Now you are righteous. Do not take that lie from the devil that you are a sinner because you sinned. No, sir, glory to God. You are now the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus, who told you you will not get married? Who told you you will not get married? Who told you you will not carry your child? Who told you, Malikuta Rabalamanda Yadoza, that you are poor? No, sir. Who told you that's the life from the pit of hell? You are complete. You are made all. You are full. Take back everything that is yours. No excuse, no reason for failure anymore. The second Hedam has paid the price for the sin of the first man that made him lose. Right now, we have everything plus him himself. Glory to Jesus Christ. Somebody, if you are excited, somebody, if God is speaking to you, begin to take back everything that belongs to you. Take your health back. Do not be sick again. Do not allow death to come. The world belongs to you now. You are bigger than the world. Now greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Glory to God. All things are yours right now. He has blessed you with everything that pertains to life and godliness. He blessed you before you were born. Glory to God. You were born blessed. I said that by the Spirit. You were born blessed. Hallelujah. Your first day was a day of rest. That has been restored to you. Hallelujah. You are born blessed. You are blessed. You are loaded. You are not just a human being. You are a superhuman being. Glory to God. You are a superhuman being. Do not take the life from the devil. Everything that is not consistent with what he has told you, reject it, refuse it, disallow it, and take everything that belongs to you. It's a season. It's a time. It's a you see, it's the time of the Lord where you take all that belongs to you. Go for it and get it. All things are yours, say the Spirit of God. All things are yours. All hell is alive, glory. He's alive, glory. He has restored man back to the garden. He started in the garden. He finished it in the garden. He resurrected in the garden. It's no coincidence. It's not mistake. No coincidence in Scripture and God's Word. He went to pray. Hallelujah. He began the journey in the garden. Hallelujah. He died in the garden. He was buried in the garden. He resurrected in the garden to let you know. Hallelujah. The man he made. Hallelujah. But he's restored plus now. Hallelujah. Now that man is like God as he is. So he has made you. So right now, enjoy your life. Take everything that belongs to you. Take your possessions. Possess your possessions. Rule and reign over the devil and his works. Praise God. You are not a victim. You are not disadvantaged. No room for depression. No room for failure. No room for poverty. No room for death. You are bigger than death. Glory to God. The life of God is in you. Go in these strengths. Go in this consciousness and rule your world. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your life and receive all that is yours. If you desire it, if you want it, go get it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give him praise right now. Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for the restoration. Thank you, Father, for I am as you are. I give you praise. Glory to God with an anointing of the Spirit. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Ooh, glory to God. Congratulations. Praise God. The second Hedam 
as per the price. And now, who told you that you are sick? No, you are not. You are not broke. You are not a failure. You are not a sinner. You are a winner. You are prosperous. You are a victor. More than a conqueror. Blessed, anointed, hallelujah, and greater than the world. That is your story. That is who you are. Be convinced about this. Expect this. And that would be your reality in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say happy weekend. As you go into this weekend, enjoy the God that has restored you back to the place of power and authority. Hallelujah. Have a lovely weekend. We'll do this again next week, Monday. Until then, keep living in an atmosphere of the love of your Father. In Jesus' name, amen.